Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, I'm going to be doing a blind taste test uh, because I always do three, I review three whiskeys and then I do a blind taste test to see if I can uh, tell the three whiskeys apart. I'm confused. Uh, either through the color, the smell, uh, the taste, the, the taste, the mouthfeel, the finish, um, all the things you review the whiskey for. You know, was I paying enough attention uh, to be able to tell you what the whiskey is without a label and judge the whiskey on without the label? So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. So today we're going to be uh, looking at. Uh, I'm going to try and tell uh, Agitator, Ballyhoo, and Redemption apart. Uh, one is a Kentucky bourbon, the other is an Irish whiskey, and the other one is a straight bourbon whiskey. So uh, uh, that is an MGP. So, uh, and if you don't know what an MGP is, uh, just look on the Redemption uh, episode, watch that, and you'll I'll, I explain it again. But uh, anyways, uh, the thing is, is we I always do three reviews of a whiskey. And then I do a blind taste test, which is what we're doing now. But here's the problem with that. Sometimes there's five Fridays or five, five Saturdays because Saturday is when I record and then I edit it and have it done by Friday morning, posted for you by Friday morning. So uh, that usually gets me uh, just enough. But the problem is, is that we've done this enough times now to where uh, we've fallen off and we actually need to do two blind taste tests. So uh, I was thinking it'd be kind of interesting. Uh, our weeded bourbon, uh, our, we our, our weeded whiskey uh, month, uh, the blind taste test was too easy. All too easy. Uh, like I, I, I think this one might be because I was able to tell it just from the color alone. So I'm gonna basically do a weeded whiskey review again, but this time I'm gonna do it uh, with four whiskeys. I usually do three because usually four is too difficult and like my mouth starts feeling numb and it just, it, it causes a lot of problems. But three is, you take one less and it's a completely different story. But I'm going to do four whiskeys uh, simply to make it, just to make, because it was too easy. So if it's too easy, you got to redo it and make it harder. So I'm going to do a weeded whiskey uh, blind taste test next week. These are all whiskeys that I've reviewed before. Uh, but uh, the same thing as the last weeded whiskey blind taste test, but this one I want to add Oregon Spirits uh, weeded whiskey to it. So, but uh, anyways, uh, so that'll be next week's episode, and I'm not sure what we're going to be doing uh, for the month of November. Um, not sure what the theme's going to be yet. So, but uh, if you have any ideas, uh, give them to us in the comments. Uh, but uh, first off, uh, if you've noticed, my co-host is missing. The the star of the show is missing. So uh, we got a, I, I got a payer, I guess, uh, to show up on camera. So uh, pay her, I will. And uh, could we please have uh, Awesome the Dog on set? Everything is awesome. Could, could, could we please have Awesome the Dog on set? Oh, there she is. There's the star. All right can't start the show without the star, right? Well, and she immediately goes off camera. No, you got to be on camera. You can't get a treat unless you're on camera. That's the way it goes. No, jazz hands. Jazz hands. Yeah, jazz hands is the, uh, I think, the international sign for dogs. You tell all dogs. No, I don't have any more treats. Jazz hands. It's just a thing. Uh, tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comments. Here's my initial guesses while somebody gets her massa ears massaged. I'm gonna say B is agitator. And this is before I've, I've tasted, before I've smelled, before anything. This is going by just the color. Uh, now uh, C is ballyhoo and A is Redemption. Those are my initial guests. Guess, guests. I'm having them over. Uh, those are my initial guesses before I've done anything 
to review. Now, uh, as with all blind taste tests, uh, I would like to dedicate this to all my union brothers and sisters out there. Uh, I don't know, Bob Hoskins, could you give a salute to uh, the people that, you know, make our lives hell? Here's to the pencil pushers. May they all get lead poisoning, huh? So, uh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what these uh, whiskeys have to offer on the nose. Oh, right on the nose! <laughs> As always, uh, I always end up drinking more water than whiskey when I do these. As you can see, my poor neglected dog is all, all tucked in. So I think it's time to start uh, drinking some whiskey. And um, yeah, so this is uh, this is C. This is uh, what I believe to be the lightest color, and then I'm showing you the color to show what a difference they make. Now, uh, just to give you an idea, can you see the difference in the color of these? Just a slight difference, you know? So uh, this is uh, B. Uh, this is the one that I think is uh, Agitator. Tonight, any protester, any instigator or agitator. And it's not, it says Kentucky bourbon, but uh, this is the one that was finished in wine casks. And I've noticed that a lot of times when people uh, start involving wine and whiskey it just seems to kind of tone it down tone down the things in whiskey the things about whiskey that i like so And I think the one thing I don't like about that one is the finish. It's just kind of weird. It's got uh, got kind of an aftertaste to the to the finish that I just don't like. So uh, I believe that that is agitator, and it kind of leaves me agitated. It's not a horrible whiskey. It's just not. Um, not good for the price. They're, they're mindless spectacles whose main purpose is peddling overpriced sugar water. And okay, so uh, this is Redemption, I believe. This is uh, the MGP whiskey, as far as I know. So uh, just to show you, I can't hold up three glasses at once, but you know, you can see the difference between these two and the difference between these two. Uh, on the camera, these two look almost the same, but I guarantee you, uh, sitting that, seeing them right there uh, against a white table, uh, they do look quite a bit different. So. So as I have uh, jumped in and tried all these, I 
I think I am going to go with my initial guess just from the color alone even because the taste uh, the finish really did uh, uh, it just reinforced my 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 first guesses so uh, yeah So, if the judge would like to uh, let me know if I am correct in saying that redemption is A. Ding, ding, ding. B is quite the agitator. And there really just is not a lot of ballyhoo going on about C. Ding, ding, ding. So, uh, yeah, I got all three of those right. Uh, I pretty much knew it from the color. Um, look forward to uh, next week where uh, I will be reviewing, uh, doing a blind taste test with four different weeded whiskeys and trying to see if I can tell the difference uh, between the four weeded whiskeys. They're all the same type of whiskey. So how do you tell them apart if there's four of them? I don't know. Maybe you should start by giving your dog a treat. I don't know. That's how I would do it. So I look forward to, uh, hope y'all, hope y'all come back for, uh, next week to, uh, see another blind taste test. And let me know in the comments what, what theme you think we should do for November. So, uh, see you next week for another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey.